today we're going to be taking a look at three different SQL interview questions that are asked at CVS. I'm going to take you line by line on how I would solve these. I'm going to jump on my computer and let's do these problems. Okay, so here's part one, pharmacy analytics. This is from Data Lemur. Link is down below in the description. So CVS is trying to understand its pharmacy sales as well as how different products are selling. Each drug can only be produced by one manufacturer. Write a query to find the top three most profitable drugs sold and how much profit they made. So that's specifically what we want. Let's put that comment there. And then assume that there are no ties in profit. Display the results from highest to lowest. So that's telling us we need an order by. And also we're going to have a limit for the top three. COGS, cost of goods sold, which is the direct cost associated with producing. And then total profit is sales minus COGS. Okay, so put a few other notes over here. Just total profit equals that. And uh, pharmacy sales, we have product ID, units sold, total sales, COGS, manufacturer, and drug. And then example output. So only one table specifically and... Let's start off with the select star that they gave us. So what I'm gonna do first, it's pretty much our first column is just put drug over here. So we have a drug and then we need to have our next, which is gonna be total profit. So I'm gonna put as total profit like that. Next, since we're gonna do it specifically from each drug, we're gonna have to group by that drug, okay? And then we're gonna have to order by and we're going to do total profit descending. So DESC like that. And then the other thing I'd recommend as well is we put our limits of three. Now, if you're using MS SQL, you'd put top three over here, but that's a little bit difference uh, between that and post gross. Okay, now we need to do our calculation for total profit. Since we're grouping by drug, I'd recommend we just put some statements over here. Uh, that way we don't have to mess up that group by. So all we got to do on this is do a sum and let's put sum of total sales like this. And then we're gonna do minus and then sum as well. And just put in here COGS, get COGS like that. And clean this up. Let's first put our comma at the end of drug. Let's tab this over. Wait, it looks a lot cleaner. We have from over here, group by, order by, descending and limit top three. I think this should run properly. So let's click run. And you see these three over here, okay? I'm not gonna try pronouncing them. So I'll probably mispronounce it and butcher it. So let's click submit. And it's been accepted. So very simple on that side of things. We're grouping by the drug. We're taking the sum of the sales minus the sum of the cost. And then we're limiting it by three. Let's take a look at part number two. All right, so we're in part two. So CVS is analyzing pharmacy sales data and how all different products are selling in the market. Each drug is exclusively manufactured by a single manufacturer. Write a query to identify the manufacturers associated with drugs that resulted in losses for CVS Health and calculate the total amount of losses. Okay, so again, we're going to have to do some aggregate. Forget. And then also it says over here, just losses. Okay. I'll put the manufacturer name, number of drugs associated with the losses. So that's telling us we need a count statement. So just put over here as accounts and then display the results sorted in descending order with the highest losses that played at the top. Okay. Order by, this doesn't seem hard. It's just, there's a lot to do on this one. It seems like so far display the results. And if you'd like other questions, check that out. So still pharmacy sales table. That's only one, uh, same thing that we went over a little bit earlier. And then you can see manufacturer drug count and total loss. So uh, first thing I'd do on here, remember that star, so we're going to grab manufacturer. So that's just that column on there, put a comma. And next we need to have a drug count, which we'll put as drug count like there. And then we need to have total loss. So we'll put there like that as total loss. And let's start thinking about it. So drug count, we're going to have to do a count statement uh, just showing those losses. So that's going to be pretty simple. You can just do a count and then just put a star in there. So our uh, total loss needs to be a positive number in this case right here. So if we took COGS minus total sales, we would have a positive on that side of things. So, and since we're gonna be grouping by this manufacturer over here, I'm gonna just do a sum of COGS minus sum, and then we'll put over here total sales like that, okay? That's total loss. 
Um, so we're gonna group by that manufacturer as I mentioned. So group by, we'll put our manufacturer in here. And the only thing I still think we need to do specifically is just show the ones that had losses. And to show a loss, you would have to have COGS greater than total sales. So under this from, we'll put where COGS is greater than total sales like that. And then it'll show a specific drug. And I uh, think that should be it. So let's just run this code and make sure it works properly. And you can see manufacturer, drug count, and then total loss. We do need to have that order by. So I forgot to have that in there. Let's do order by. And then what I will do over here is total loss and then descending. Uh, that way, Johnson & Johnson, we have that big of a loss that'll be first. So we have there. And I think that should be it because this would be the least amount of loss and that's shown at the bottom. And let's submit this code. And it has been accepted. Let's move on to part number three. All right, so part three, CVS is trying to better understand pharmacy sales. So write a query to find the total drug sales for each manufacturer. So not bad, already kind of like last one. Write your answer to the closest million and report your result in descending order, total sales, okay? Like very similar. Because the data is being directly fed in dashboards as seen by business stakeholders, format your results like this, 36 million. So that's the difference pretty much on this one. Also, we're not gonna go absolute values, uh, but we're gonna have to change up the integer on this side of things. Okay, and then we have pharmacy sales just like that. Let's start going over it. So the first thing I would do is take a look at what we have our output. So first we need to have that manufacturer. So let's remove the star. Let's put manufacturer here first, comma at the end. And then we'll put as the sale and it's all lowercase. And we have to figure out that calculation on sale. So what we're gonna have to do is sum up over here, this total sales. So we'll put that sum, put total sales like that. And then next we're gonna have to divide by a million. So I'm gonna divide by 10, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000, and 1 million. And we'll have to concat this string after, but let's just at least see how this works. And then I'm gonna do a group by, and then we'll put over here, a group by that manufacturer, just to make sure our sale, our code starts working properly and you can see manufacturer, but unfortunately we can't have the results like this, like 4.06, we just need to have a solid four. So we're gonna have to round it. So I'm just gonna put round in here and that should solve it. So let's put that over here now. And then you can see it's a solid number. Okay, now we have to put a concat on here. So concat and we're gonna have to concat some of these. Okay, so let's figure out how we're gonna do that. So first thing that we need to have over here is this dollar sign. So let's put over here in single quotes, dollar. We're gonna put a comma. Then we have this over here, which is gonna be in the middle. And then at the very end, put another comma. And then we need to put million like that. So million. And I think that should solve that side of things. Just check. So we need to have a space for million and is million capitalized? No, it is not. So put a space over here like that. And then the other thing is we need an order by, I believe. Uh, yeah, so group and then we'll put order by and then we'll put some total sales like that and we'll put that in descending. Uh, so that way the highest total sales is up first. Let's run this so you can see a B B V I E one fourteen million, Eli seventy seven, Biogen seventy, Johnson Johnson forty three, and then nothing about limiting it rates, nothing limited. So this should solve it. Let's also format this a little bit better. So again, let's tab these over so it looks a little bit nicer, and let's submit this code. And the code has been accepted. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to subscribe as it does help out the YouTube channel. By the way, you should go check out this video right here where I do an interview from Microsoft.